rocks over yeah. there. I gotta go out alone in the dark, yeah. and you can't see them. It's like all inky black, yeah. and the bear's just kind of mixed in. Like when I was in Aspen, I would walk my two dogs, and they're like puggles, and they would smell it before oh. I saw. Yeah, pug and a beagle. I think <gasps> it's Aww. the cutest dog. Uh, I think you have to get the beagle drunk before it fucks the pug. But uh, okay, anyway, yeah. but like walking with those two was like having a pepperoni necklace on essentially. And uh, the first time look I saw one, snack. yeah, look at this. And um, the first time I saw one, I literally, I told this story in a previous episode. Uh, I think it's uh, episode it doesn't four, matter, no the night I tried to outdrink my girlfriend's dad. But the, <laughs> the first time I saw one, I literally just like started farting uncontrollably. What? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, no, 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 no. just like machine gun. Interesting. Everybody and I was like has so terrified. Reaction, you know? Yeah. And yeah. then I was like, I tried to play Romstein, uh fuck do host at it to try to scare it off. And then I was like making direct eye contact oh. with it, which is the oh. last thing you're supposed to do. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I was trying to do like Caesar Milan, like calm, cool, submissive. <laughs> I'm the dominant one. Right, right. Yeah. I-, I think you're supposed to like wave, make yourself bigger, make a lot of noise. Yeah, oh I made a lot of noise out of my yeah, ass. Yeah, out of uh, your butthole. Yeah, hundred okay. percent. I, mean, I guess that counts maybe that actually scared it off ultimately um so anyway (laughs) (laughs) enough about greg's butthole (laughs) yeah i mean god uh it's uh it always comes up we could really go down that road let's talk about your butthole we could go up that road (laughs) so aspen tahoe resort towns mountain towns Mm -hmm. uh and i don't know about you but the whole culture is like you get fucked up when you're working Oh sure, yeah. You, you uh, all right. It's so you allowed. It, it's allowed. It's it, encouraged. It's expected. It's yeah. encouraged. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So yeah, you got a little uh, get a little loaded behind the stick. Uh, anything of note happened while uh, you're in an altered state of mind that you can uh... altered state of mind. Yeah. 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 While you're doing math and keeping track of people's money and sobriety, and you're like probably more fucked up than they are. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, it was, yeah, it was kind of like a rite of passage, uh, getting a little fucked up behind the bar. It, it was, uh, like I said, I kind of skipped the whole bar backing step, and the man who taught me the first night I bartended, it was just shots of tequila, and and we're just going. We're going for it, and he, he just kind of got me as professionally drunk as he thought appropriate, uh, <laughs> and it, it, was, it was just kind of like a challenge, how how well can you handle yourself and your liquor and still be able to perform your duties? Uh, you know, so it, it was it was definitely a rite of passage uh, to just kind of get the newbie fucked up uh, to begin with. And, and and that's definitely what they did. That's how you get your sea legs. And then sometimes it makes it interesting. You know what I mean? Like It, it definitely makes it interesting. It kind of makes it even a little bit more fun. Yeah. You know, you kind of get on everybody's level. But you're busy. You constantly have something to do. And that's the beauty of bartending. You're constantly busy. Yeah, but you got to handle your shit. That's for sure. Yeah. Ever uh, get behind the stick on, you know, more than just booze? One night. Oh, nice. um, I love well, this. Well, no, well, not just one night, but uh, <laughs> one night in particular. It was I'll only- try anything once a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, yeah. One night uh, we decided, this man who, who taught me how to bartend decided that we should eat mushrooms behind the bar. <laughs> and, oh, no. It was mm. only bad review I've ever had. And... Oh, my God. And it it was really only because I mean mugged the fuck out of these people. Uh, You know, we were closing. The the chairs were up on the bar for the most part. Your tripping face. Right. Right. We had eaten some mushrooms. It was a slow night, so we were just like, you know, it was kind of just this situation you closed whenever after 11 when the food shut down. Uh, It just kind of closed whenever it kind of petered out. And it had. It had done that this night. And uh, it was me and George, uh, the man who taught me how to bartend. And we had two people come in that also worked in the service industry. And there's kind of this understanding with people in the service industry, our fellow bartenders can uh, can corroborate this story. Is that, did I say yeah, that Yeah, right? no, you okay. absolutely did. All yeah, right. nailed yeah. it. Um, and there's just kind of this understanding. Like, if you're closing, you, you know, you either just turn the fuck around and, oh, we'll go somewhere else. You're and closing and they came in anyway. Yeah, and, and we're right on the border of California and Nevada. And, and you can drive a mile down to Nevada. There's casinos. They're open all night. You can drink forever. But they come in, they order a beer, I'm washing dishes, we're closing up, we've already put the chairs up, everything's 
basically done work trip and face. Um, <laughs> but, but he's, you know, been in the industry for a long time. He's doing great. He, you know, he's being engaging and talking to him and probably even knows him. He's, he's lived there a lot longer than I have. And, uh, he's just being unflappable and courteous despite these assholes. Can I just tell you something? Every time I get somebody from the service industry who comes to the bar, they turn out to be my biggest problem. Isn't that strange? It's so weird. I'm like all apologetic and super self-aware and I can't even be comfortable because I feel guilty watching them make drinks. And then right. more often than not, they're like, oh, dude, I'm a bartender. Don't worry. I'm like, oh, God, I have to worry now. Right. And I love like a gin gimlet, but I would almost never order that. Right. You know, it, it just depends on the bar that you're at. But you, you most give me a beer and a shot. Yeah, 100%. I mean, you know, it could be a rolling rock and the shot can be in a hot glass. I don't care. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So uh, so they come in, they order a beer. It's fine. I, you know, I'm doing the cleanup. I'm washing dishes. I'm, you know, I'm tripping face, so I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> um, and uh, and this is kind of like a challenge for him. Uh, and I am not passing the test. So they finish their beer and he's being absolutely courteous. Ask them if they want another one. And I cannot believe <laughs> don't when encourage they them. ask for another one. I, it blew my mind and I could not help the neck snap just the what oh no and uh and so apparently i mean mu- mean mugged mean yeah. mugged i mean mugged i mean mugged that is them. hard to I'm, say i mean mugged them uh for the entire next beer that they sipped oh my god which seemed like forever and i don't know if y'all are into psychedelics but it seemed like a very long time when you're on psychedelics nothing can ruin your time like other people <laughs> that is Absolutely true. Uh, and so, you know, he talked to them. They finished their second fucking beer uh, as we were basically closed. And I, I just could not believe. And my boss called me the next day, read the Yelp review to me. Can we talk about how awful Yelp is? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's an entire website based on libel and slander. And there needs to be a lawyer who takes a class action lawsuit and gets all the restaurants together and fucking sinks it. The way Hulk Hogan sunk Gawker. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> like, you need to have some sort of credentials to be on there, I feel like. We should be able to Yelp guests. Oh, my God. That is a great idea. Thank you. No, that is a wonderful idea. <laughs> yeah. Anybody, we get credit any, cards. Anybody, we get information. Yeah, anybody can just write anything about anybody. And it's, anyway, only bad review I've ever gotten. Uh I obviously could not tell my boss that I had been tripping uh, the <laughs> night before, you know, and I and he took it with absolute grace. Uh, I obviously, well, not obviously, but I was not fired. Only bad review I'd ever gotten. And yeah, yeah not something I ever did again. Not ever something I did again. Uh, it was it was a very interesting night. Until after work. Uh, after work, I think I went to the beach and stared at the stars for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but uh, figuring out the universe's problems and solving them. Oh yeah. Oh, I solved. I solved everything that that evening. So wait a minute. Let me ask you something. How many years have you been bartending? Just ballpark it. I. Actually, or what do I say on my resume? Um, everyone lies on the resume, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You should Nobody see my is. resume. Okay. You know what I put on my resume? No. In special skills, I put uh, feigning and in- interest in others and basic karate because <laughs> nobody reads them. I, should I have a special? Like, you're right. I was like, should I have a special skills section on my resume? When I lived in LA and used to like cast for sketches, you'd always get these like actress resumes or actor resumes. And in special skills, everybody can do an English and Australian accent oh, and no. ride horses and drive well, a standard and stuff like that. Let's hear your best Australian accent. Oh, I can't do it. Rise up, lads. That means rise up, lads. I said razor oh, blades. That's no. all I have to do. It. That is awful. Thank you. You're canceled. All right. Bye. <laughs> um, so how many years? Uh, so I think that I probably started in uh, 2016. So what I'm getting at is, like, in all that time, you've led life. Stuff has happened. Uh, ups and downs. And you only got one bad review because you held it together that whole time. That's amazing. I got one bad review because I mean mugged somebody. You mean mugged somebody. I mean mugged not some even people. Like, I don't even think I talked to them. I just Not even because life mean... was sucking outside and you couldn't hold it in. I, you just... Just, I was on shrooms and they wanted to stay. <laughs> and I 
Yeah, I was not okay with it. You got to get the fuck out of here. Uh, you well, pick you your know battles. What? They, they were the rude ones. I wasn't even. I didn't even say anything. You're not wrong. Yeah. Um. People. Well, if the chairs are up, don't stay. Like most jobs, we're gonna end it on a bad Yelp review, Robin. Oh no. We're gonna leave them wanting more. I know I want more. You've been great, um, guys. This has been Robin. I've been Greg, your host, and we really appreciate uh, you lending us your ear holes. And we're going to see you next time on Behind Bars. Cocked tails and wasted nights. Well, it's last call, so let me give you a tip. Puking is embarrassing. And no, it's not the body's reset button. So no, you can't have another drink. It's over. Go home. Oh, and if you didn't get your mask off in time before you puked... That should actually crank the embarrassing clock all the way back around to proud o'clock because that's next level shit. Folks, it's been a blast. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. And a call to my fellow booslingers. Send in your stories to cocktailsandwastednights at gmail.com. You can remain anonymous if you'd like. Thanks for listening, subscribing, downloading, and spreading the word. Don't be afraid to give me a good review, even if you're lying. If you want to support the podcast, check it out on Patreon. I don't have any extra shit there, but I'll happily accept donations. Eh, worth a try. Oh, and check out my video, Just Close It, on YouTube. We'll see you next time on Behind Bars, Cocktails, and Wasted Nights. Cheers! My name is Robin. I'm here interviewing with Greg Studley on Cocked Bars and Tails Whales. Hey, man. We're visiting Colorado for a week. That's stupid. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. And no, night in a bar. Fuck. In 1898, Democratic political czar Martin M. Lamazny. (laughs) Shit. In 1898, Democratic political czar Martin M. L- fuck. In 1898, Democratic political czar Martin Lamonsley. Fuck, that's not even his name either. Let's try that again. In 1898, Democratic political czar Martin Lamazny hoped to capture a seat in the state's legislature. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Lamazny. Oh, fuck. Lamazny held considerable power in the city from nearly. Fuck. During Prohibition, the Daily Boston... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Boston. Oh, boy. Shake that shit and strain into your chilled glass, garnished with a maraschino ter... <laughs> Hi. My name is... Fucking Claire s- Santiago. So fucking sexy. And I'm here with Greg Studley talking about our... Sexual experiences in the bar. It doesn't always have to be like that. but they Most just, of them are, though. They do. They do go yeah. out all the time. We do a lot of drugs and it gets weird. Stay right, tuned hold, for the juicy on. details.